How many players in the NBA can do this? Actually, here's a better question. How many point guards can do this? One crossover, strike! Dunk for Event Thompson. We all know who the top three picks in last year's draft were. They were pretty much the only picks people covered. And two of those three guys look really good. But you know who else looks really good? The number four overall pick. Because what Amen Thompson can do on a basketball court is not normal. That includes players like this, where he blocks Kevin Durant's jumper from behind before then leaking out and throwing it down. Or how about this breakneck speed in transition, where he just attacks Kispert with a little in and out dribble before then throwing it down. Hold up, let's just watch that back in full speed. Yes, he's that quick. And the stats are starting to match up with the eye test, because over his last six games, Amen is averaging 16 points, eight boards, and two assists to go along with a block and a steal, all the whilst being a plus 88 in those six games. And this has included some monster performances, including one against the Wizards. Yes, the Wizards. Just look at him on this play run a pick and roll with Fred Van Vliet. And once he gets the ball in the pocket, his creativity just takes over as he steps around Kispert and then throws a wild reverse layup off the backboard. Or how about this play in the pick and roll, where a man sets the screen, gets to the middle of the floor, and is able to hang and finish. Now I want you guys to watch that play again, but look at it from this angle. Yes, in midair, a man was able to fake out the defender on the roll to the basket. He can also mix in this finesse and creativity with an ability to just do this. And play pocket pass! That is a point guard or a point forward, whatever you want to call it, throwing down a two-handed dunk with his head damn near at the rim on a pick and roll. And that play right there, in fact, any of the plays I just showed you is the reason prior to his first game in the NBA, an NBA scout said this, you put a man on the floor and he might be the best athlete. Great passing and playing in transition. He rebounds, he defends. And nothing he said was wrong because he can do everything on the floor. And this play right here encapsulates all of that. Watch here as Christie goes for the fadeaway. A man skies over the top of Wood to grab the board. He then brings the ball up, slows his dribble down before then attacking D'Lo, drawing the help defender and then having the ability to hang before wrapping the pass around to Whitmore. And that's the most intriguing part of a man's game. Just how great can his playmaking be? Because his ability to put pressure on the rim, paired with high IQ and just really good passing instincts, makes for such interesting upside. Just look at this play where he runs the give and go with Bullock. He then uses his straight line speed to get on the outside of Pirtle, which causes the defense to collapse. And he's so athletic that he can leave his feet and decide what he wants to do whilst levitating in midair. Or how about another two-way play where this time he comes from behind to block Shea's shot at the rim, grabbing the ball, pushing the pace before finding Whitmore in transition for the bucket. This is one thing you'll notice very quickly when watching MN Thompson. He's going to give you even more energy on defense than he does on offense. Ime Udoka even said this about him. I coached somebody, Ben Simmons, who had similar traits as far as size and ability to push the pace and find guys and finish. There are some similarities there. Now, I know Ben Simmons' reputation is about as low as humanly possible right now, but let's not forget, he was a three-time All-Star before he turned 24. If we are just talking about talent, being compared to Ben Simmons is huge because everything we've seen and heard about Amen suggests he has the right mentality to turn that talent into consistent production on both ends of the floor. And defensively, he's already doing exactly that. Because look here against Halliburton, where he's on an island 40 feet from the basket. Halley gets a little step on him, but a man is able to recover before blocking his shot. And just look at the genius from him here to tap the ball off Halley whilst he's falling out of bounds. Or this play, which is just insane. He's one on one against Jalen Williams. Williams creates some initial separation with a burst of speed. And even with Williams adjusting in midair on the shot, a man also adjusts 
hanging and then swiping down to get the block. Now these are the kind of plays that'll show up on the highlight reels, but it's his defensive IQ that is scarily good. Just like here where he's guarding Dunn out top, who gives it to Olenek in the post, and Demen recognizes Clarkson is cutting back door, so he turns and is able to then block Clarkson's shot at the rim. Or how about on this play, where he's forced to switch on to Naismith with Siakam setting the screen, before Turner sets another screen, which a man sidesteps before blocking the three-point shot. It's rare where a player with so much talent and athleticism also has the IQ and work ethic to stay consistently locked in on defense at such a young age. And let's get one thing straight. He's going to make a lot of all defensive teams in his career. And everyone wants to talk about his shooting and if you'll be able to develop a jump shot. Now, don't get me wrong, that would be nice, but I'm more focused on just how good he can be attacking the rim because there are plenty of guys in the league that aren't great shooters who can simply score because they're so impossible to stop going downhill. And then isn't there yet, but there are flashes of him being an elite finisher at the rim. Just look at him on this play where he gets the handoff from Jeff Green, and I can't even comprehend what he does on that first move before then hitting a filthy Euro and casually laying it in. He has this freakish ability to go from bringing the ball below his knees to then rising up for a layup or a dunk. And this is what separates great athletes from just extraterrestrial level athletes like a man. They can reach peak speed or peak force quicker than anyone else. And as you'd expect, that makes them incredibly difficult to defend. The next step for him is consistently making plays like this where Jeff Green sets the screen out top. A man crosses right, and with Smith doing a good job to hang with him, he uses his body to create separation before laying it in. Generally, he's going to be too quick for most defenders, but also having the ability to finish through contact using his six foot six athletic frame or even just draw contact could be the difference between him being an okay scorer and potentially a really dangerous one. There are also other ways to impact the game as a scorer when you can't shoot or don't have the ball in your hands. Think of a guy like Aaron Gordon who really thrives in that dunker spot. And despite not being nearly as big as AG, a man has shown the ability to consistently find space in the dunker spot. And he has that Zion-like quick bounce where the second he receives that pass, it doesn't matter where he's facing, he can throw it down in any direction. Whatever he might currently lack in shooting touch, he also makes up for with high basketball IQ and an ability to pop up in the right spot at the right time. Like on this play where he sees Green getting into his pull-up jumper, so he comes from baseline to crash the board, adjusting in midair and putting it back in. If Victor Wembanyama wasn't drafted this year, we would probably be looking at the most unique player in this year's draft, and the potential he has is just scarily high. Now, if you did make it all the way to the end of the video, dropping a like would be much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Have a great day. Bye.